Welcome back to Combat Mission, where we're going to take a look at how to test things out. Not only is there a huge array of weapons and platforms across the Combat Mission titles, but in order to get the most out of them in-game, it's important to understand their technical properties. You don't want to find out that you can't penetrate an enemy tank after you've started shooting at it, and you don't want to find out that your armour doesn't help when the enemy starts shooting at you. It is possible to accurately infer technical attributes if you have some good background knowledge or experience, but it's always worth testing things out. So in this video, I'm going to run through how I set up and run a weapons effects test. And to keep it interesting, I'm going to do this in Combat Mission Professional and test out the end law. So even if you're a Combat Mission diehard, you probably haven't seen this yet. You can set these tests up as a quick battle, but for this one I'm going to make a mission using the scenario editor. This way it's easier to run the test again, or make changes without going through the whole quick battle setup. Opening up the editor, the first thing we need is a map. Any map will do, as long as you have the range and sight lines to do what you want. I prefer using the gunnery range map from the modern tutorial, so let's load that up. This has the added bonus of already having the weather conditions, deployment zones and everything else all ready to go, though we could tweak them if we want to test out specific things like, say, night fighting capability. I'll leave a link to a Dropbox folder down below with a copy of this map for all of the combat mission titles, so you can just download it and get stuck in. Next, we need to add in what we want to test, so we can go to the unit screen, which is basically the quick battle force selector with no points values and a few more options. Sometimes, it can take a little bit of exploration to find what you're looking for. In this case, due to the nature of Combat Mission Professional, there aren't any separate end law teams modeled, so we need to grab a specific infantry section organization that carries them. In terms of soft factors, what we're looking to test here is the effect of end law on a target. So we can jack the section up to elite experience to make it more likely that they'll actually hit what they're aiming at. Then we can deploy them wherever we like. The gunner range is set up with a big chunky deployment zone for both sides, so we can alter this later if we need to. For our end law test, let's detach an anti-tank team from the section, double check that they're both carrying end laws, and then stick them on the small arms range. If we go back, next we need something for them to shoot at. So for the red side, let's grab the most common Denovian MBT, a T-72B3, and we can deploy that on the small arms range out in the open, where the end law team is going to be able to shoot at it. Back to the scenario editor, we can save this mission as a scenario and then go back to the main menu and boot it up. The important thing to check here when starting the battle is that you play the game in the hot seat mode. This allows us to play both sides and we can control where everything is and what everything is doing. So starting off as blue, the end law team is in the right place and it's ready to go. So we can skip right to playing as red. Now, because what we're testing is the ability of the end law to knock out a T-72B3, we want the T-72 to just sit there and get shot at, so we need to give it some specific orders. Once we've got it in the right place, let's say about 300 meters out with the frontal armor facing the end law team, we need to give it a pause order and a short target arc. The pause order will stop it from moving, and the short target arc will stop it from engaging the end law team. Sometimes the TAC AI for the target will override these orders because the TAC AI really doesn't want to die. So it's worth creating a save before you press the go button to make it quick and easy to start again if it goes sideways. And that's it, that's literally all there is to it. When we start the battle off, the end law team spots the T-72 and we get to see the end law's top attack profile take it out. Knowing that, we have a much better appreciation of the anti-tank capability of infantry armed with end laws, which in turn has some significant tactical ramifications. These tests are really simple and easy to do. They're especially invaluable if you just picked Combat Mission up or you've started playing a new title with a different setting because there is just so much stuff to get your head around. So, hope you found this one useful, have fun blowing things up, and I'll catch you in the next video.